beautiful. Oh, no, as you can see, it's uh, more than doubled. So you don't have to have warm water, it just takes a little bit longer. I'm just making single pizzas for me, so, you know, a little bit's fine. The rest of it I'll chuck in the fridge and have tomorrow. So, open her up, deflate it a bit. You can actually smell the wine in that. It smells damn good. More. That'll do me. Make her into a ball. Drop it down. Grab the rolling pin. Uh, rolling pin. I like thin and crispy pizzas too, by the way. So, if you don't want them thin and crispy, don't roll it this thin. Pretty simple. Olive oil. Fork. Prick. Uh, prick the dough. Oh, and I also don't have an oven, so the light keeps dipping because I've got the um, electric frying pan off, on, sorry. So, and that will be my oven. So. Okay. Okay, at the bottom of the pan. A bit of olive. Just so that she doesn't stick. made up some tomato paste the other night. It's um, two cans of crushed tomatoes, um, one tomato paste container. I put in probably four shallots, about that round, so you know, 40 mil I suppose, and four or five cloves of garlic. I like my garlic. So, I'll stretch this out a bit. And just, the trick is, don't be too heavy handed with the sauce. You'll need a little bit of sauce. Just spin it over, spin it around, 
and she's a goer. Then put on whatever toppings you want. I'll get myself organised a bit more and clean my board up and stuff and get back to you in a minute. Oh yeah. Get one of these, drop it on there, spread it around. See how it's still got the tomato lumps in it? Lovely. Oh, mixed herbs as well and coriander I put through it. Enough of that. So, so, nice basic pizza, pepperoni. Cheese. Uh, a bit of Parmesan cheese for the extra cheesy flavour. And a bit of blue cheese because it's in the fridge and it's probably time it's got used. So. Got a pretty thin. That's good. Whatever you want. Um, I just happen to like pepperoni and cheese pizzas. So, yeah, ham and pineapple, I suppose. Um, if you've got bocconcini, just bocconcini and basil leaves. That's your classic margarita. Just scatter the bits around. Get some cheese. And blue cheese. Um, yeah, we'll just put little blobs of blue cheese on. In Tasmania. Good damn good cheese down there in Tassie. Good potatoes too. I think that's where most of our taters come from. Anyway. So. We'll give her a bit of a sprinkle. Mmm, cheese. Yes, I like cheese. Love it. Good for you. Mm, yep, it's up the temperature. So we'll just... Spin this round. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah, if I had my Barbie set up, it'd look a lot better. It'd be brown on top. But it's not too bad for an electric frying pan. You can put the meat. 
this is good. Me reading out to me now. Oh, okay, good. Very, very tender. Yes. And I heard that the other day, German, who was working in Afghanistan, and he liked so much Kabul. Here we go. And he named his son after Kabul. No way. Yeah. So, his middle name for that. I probably could have done with another five minutes in there. But I'm hungry. It'll do. Later.